So hey guys, welcome back to CS Concept Simplified. So in this video, we are going to see different type of poetic devices and figure of speech which are used in English literature, which can be asked into your class 10th and class 12th board exam. So please watch this video carefully. So guys, now you can see on the screen English literature for class 10th and class 12th by Sambit Shah. So these are the list of the figure of speech and poetic devices which are used in English literature. You must remember the name and the corresponding meaning. So let's start with the first one that is simile. The, indire the direct comparison between the two unlike things. Using the word like, so, as and like. And metaphor, it's an indirect comparison. So the words like, so, like and has are not used. Remember not used. Then synecdoche. So a single part represents the whole thing. Then antithesis. Words with an opposite meaning are used in the same line. Then tautology. Words with the same meaning are used in the same line. Then alliteration. The sound of initial word is repeated to give it a musical sound. So the initial word will give you a musical sound. That's an alliteration. Then repetition. The words are repeated in the same line. That's repetition. Then imagery. The words can be visualized. Then interrogation. A question is asked. Then personification. Uh, gives human quality or speaking about something as if it is like a person. Then inversion. A grammatical order of a sentence is changed often to make the last word rhyme. So grammatical order will change and the sentence will be in the rhyme form. And hyperbole, exaggerated statement. Exaggerated means any statement that create a worse or better image or a situation than the real one. Uh, just like imaginary situation is created. So it's an hyperbole. Anatomatopoeia, words containing a sound. Then metonymy, a word replaced by something very close to the original meaning. Then paradox, these are the opposite or contrasting ideas or an abstract statements. Paradox means opposite thinking you have worst ideas. Then transferred appetite. Then appetite is transferred from the noun. It is meant to describe to the another noun in the sentence. Then climax. The words are arranged in ascending order of importance. Then anticlimax. Words are arranged in descending order of importance. So if you notice, some of the figure of speech and poetic devices are highlighted. So these are highlighted because they are the most important ones and they are repeatedly asked in the board exam. So highlighted ones aapko aane hi chahiye. So these all are the uh, poetic devices and figure of speech. You can get this PDF from the description box. Description box mein link hai. Link pe click karo aur wo PDF ko download karo. Aur exam ke ek din pehle padh ke jana. Kyunki ek se do question aate hiye figure of speech pe. So aapko uh, matlab do se teen marks mil jayenge aaram se agar aapne ye PDF bhi padh li to. क्योंकि इसमें आपको मीनिंग है मीनिंग समझ में आ गया और मीनिंग के साथ उसका करस्पॉन्डिंग नेम आपको याद रह गया तो आप एग्जाम में आपका आराम से दो से तीन मार्क मिल जाएंगे सो यही था एंड यू कैन गेट दिस पी डी एफ फ्रॉम द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स लिंक इज मैंशन एंड ऑल्सो इफ यू लाइक दिस कंटेंट दैन प्लीज हिट द लाइक बटन एंड ऑल्सो इफ यू आर न्यू टू द चैनल दैन प्लीज हिट दिस सब्सक्राइब बटन और हमारा नेक्स्ट वीडियोज बहुत जल्द आने वाला है एम एस टी सी टी क्लास टेंथ और क्लास ट्वेल्थ बोर्ड्स के ऊपर सो स्टेट यून स्टे सब्सक्राइब टू दिस चैनल चलो गाइज मिलते हैं नेक्स्ट वीडियो में तब तक के लिए गुड बाय